His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa met in Abu Dhabi with the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, where they discussed the fraternal relations and the means to develop them to serve common interests. They also reviewed regional and international developments and exchanged views on them. The two sides expressed hope for positive outcomes and constructive decisions from the upcoming 33rd Arab Summit to be hosted by Bahrain on May 16th under the presidency of His Majesty the King with the aim of strengthening Arab solidarity and unity, enhancing the capabilities and potentials of the national and political and economic aspects, protecting its national security and meeting its aspirations towards progress, sustainable development. The two sides also called to de-escalate the situation in the Middle East, avoid military escalation and prioritize diplomatic solutions and the settlement of all conflicts through dialogue and negotiations. They also urged the international community to shoulder their responsibilities in implementing immediate ceasefire resolutions in the Gaza Strip to ensure the safety of citizens and uh, civilians and provide them with the necessary humanitarian aid without obstacles. They emphasized the necessity of effective international action to achieve comprehensive and just a regional peace, a granting the Palestinian people their legitimate rights and establishing their independent state based on the two-state solution. His Majesty the King and the President of UAE stressed the importance of continuing consultations and coordination according to a unified strategic vision aimed at achieving common interests for both countries and their peoples, strengthening Arab and uh, Gulf ties and international cooperation and promoting peace, tolerance and human solidarity. His Majesty expressed pride in the historical and distinguished ties between the leaderships and peoples of the two countries, wishing UAE leadership, governments and people continued progress and prosperity. <coughs> His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued a circular on the upcoming Labor Day. According to the circular, ministries and all other public institutions will close on Wednesday, 1st of May 2024, marking Labor Day. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Lamsallam, met with the Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abul Ghait, in Cairo. The Secretary General affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, is keen on supporting the joint Arab action and praised the firm stances of Bahrain that affirm the rich and wise diplomatic approach of the Kingdom. He praised the support of His Majesty the King towards the Arab League and hailed His Majesty's keenness to achieve comprehensive Arab integration through various visits regionally and internationally in order to maintain the security and stability of the region as well as supporting the Palestinian cause. Elam Salam praised the efforts of the Arab League in enhancing Arab integration and solidarity and its role in defending Arab issues supporting the Palestinian cause and maintaining security and stability in the region. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Lamsallam, held a joint parliamentary discussion with the Speaker of the Representatives Council of Egypt, Hanafi Jibali. Lamsallam praised the bilateral historical relations and held the cooperation level between the two countries in all fields, thanks to the keenness of His Majesty the King and the Egyptian President, with the follow-up and support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the Egyptian Prime Minister. He pointed out that Bahrain is hosting the upcoming Arab summit, which will form a new stage for the joint Arab action. The Egyptian speaker hailed the bilateral relations that is based on unity and common destiny, which forms a model in historical relations. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, held a meeting in Riyadh with the Saudi Minister of Foreign Affairs and the current chair of the 32nd session of the Arab Summit, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan Al Saud. The minister visited Saudi Arabia as part of a tour, including a number of Arab countries. The two ministers discussed the strong historical fraternal relations in various fields and ways to develop cooperation and integration between the two countries within the framework of the goals of the Saudi. Bahraini Coordination Council and Common Interests and Aspirations. 
They exchanged views on regional developments, the war in the Gaza Strip, and regional and international efforts aimed at an immediate ceasefire, protecting civilians, delivering humanitarian aid to the civilian population, and supporting efforts to establish regional peace, security, and stability. The two sides discussed the ongoing preparations for the 33rd Arab Summit hosted by Bahrain on May 16th. The summit's work program and the topics and issues included on the agenda of the meeting of the Arab leaders. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with his Emirati counterpart, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, in the presence of the Minister of State, Khalif Al Marar, as part of the Foreign Affairs Minister's tour in a number of Arab countries. During the meeting, the two sides discussed the deep rooted historical fraternal relations, the means to develop cooperation in various fields, and the need to increase coordination and consultation at all levels to serve common interests. The two sides discussed current regional developments, the war in the Gaza Strip, and regional and international efforts aimed at an immediate ceasefire, the protection of civilians, the delivery of humanitarian aid to the Strip, and the endeavors towards achieving regional security and stability. They also discussed the ongoing preparations for the 33rd Arab Summit, which will be hosted by Bahrain on May 16th, the work program and the topics and issues that will be included in the agenda to achieve common Arab action goals and serve the interests of the Arab nation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, met with the Omani counterpart, Bedr bin Hamad bin Hamoud al Busidi, as part of his visit to the minister, is holding to the a number of Arab countries. The meeting discussed the bilateral brotherly relations, ways to enhance bilateral cooperation in all fields, and enhance the joint diplomatic consultations and coordination in line with the efforts of the joint Bahrain Oman Ministerial Committee in order to achieve mutual interests. The two sides also discussed regional developments and their repercussions on regional security and stability. The efforts exerted in this regard to stop the war in Gaza and follow the entry of aid in order to maintain security and stability in the region. The two sides then discussed the preparations for the upcoming 33rd Arab Summit that will be held in Bahrain on May 16th, which aims to enhance joint Arab action, maintain security and stability in the region, and defend Arab issues. The Minister of Works, Engineer Ibrahim Al Hawaj, met with the British Minister of Housing, Planning and Building Safety, Lee Rowley, during his visit to the UK. The Minister of Works affirmed the Ministry's keenness to continue developing infrastructure in order to enhance the level of services for upcoming projects and highlighted the importance of exchanging expertise in this regard. During the meeting, the UK's experiences in developing laws and policies regulating construction and commitment to meeting applicable conditions, standards and specifications were reviewed. Al Hawaj expressed keenness to benefit from the UK experience in this field of building material and system specifications, standards, consulting services and the use of recycled materials within the scope of implementing infrastructure development and construction projects with the highest standards of quality and sustainability. Babco Refining would like to report that the damaged floating roof of one of the oil tanks in the Citra tank farm has been successfully and safely lowered to its position at the bottom of the tank. This is the most important step in the process of repairing the defect in the occurred. It's indicated that the remaining naphtha product in the tank has significantly reduced as the tank is being safely and gradually emptied into another tank. The joint emergency teams, with exceptional support from the Ministry of Interior, the Civil Defense, and the Supreme Council for the Environment, has taken all the necessary safety and security measures in this regard. A number of specialists have also been appointed to carry out the task of stabilizing the damaged floating roof of the tank and ensuring its safe stability at the bottom of the tank. In this regard, Babco Refining reiterates that the safety of the community is always its top priority.
Bahrain, represented by the General Authority for Social Insurance, is hosting the 16th regular symposium for civil retirement and social insurance agencies of GCC countries. More in this report. The 16th regular symposium for civil retirement and social insurance agencies of GCC countries comes in light of several factors and variables that require developing a clear strategic plan to achieve the desired goals. As pension funds depend on insurance subscription revenues and returns collected from investments in fund assets, which require careful management and direction toward investments with lucrative returns and low risks. The symposium discusses multiple topics, including financial sustainability, demographic changes, reforms of insurance and investment systems, in addition to risk management and the presence of representatives of pension funds in GCC countries. Demographic changes are considered the most important issue discussed at the symposium, as the increase in the number of retirees and the decrease in the number of insured people has a significant impact on the sustainability of pension funds, which requires taking the necessary measures, such as increasing the retirement age or the percentage of insurance contributions. The 61st session of the Arab Charter Committee of the Human Rights Committee began at the headquarters of the Arab League. Bahrain was an important focus during the session, as its second periodic report on human rights was discussed by a high-level delegation. The delegation presented Bahrain's achievements in promoting and protecting human rights thanks to the laws and legislation that have been adopted, which achieved great successes with international Arab and regional recognition. Each member of the delegation presented the successes achieved in all areas, which was praised by the committee and experts' organizations. Representatives from Bahrain civil society organizations and European Forum for Dialogue and Human Rights in Geneva participated in the session and praised the kingdom's achievements in promoting human rights. The chairman of the Arab Charter Committee affirmed the kingdom's success in presenting its human rights achievements thanks to its tireless efforts.